Hello and welcome my Libra friends. This is Jennifer from Mystic Star. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. This is going to be a group reading for my friends born under the Libra zodiac sign in celebration of the fall equinox. On Monday we're celebrating fall equinox. Many of us are already enjoying those amazing and beautiful fall colors that Mother Nature is bestowing on us with the season change. The fall equinox marks a time where Mother Nature is preparing for the cycle of death. This change in energy opens us up to looking at what we need to release in our lives. And that's exactly what this reading is about. I'm going to explore what my Libra friends can release this fall equinox. Now the deck I chose for this tarot reading is the Tarot de la Nuit. Then I'm going to end off the session with a blessing from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle. Like always, I will have links below to both these fabulous decks, so should they speak to you, you can go check them out for yourselves. Alright, my Libra friends, let's see what the cards have to say. What should my Libra friends release this fall equinox? Some jumpers here. And more jumpers. I love it when I can't even answer the question and they're, they're hitting the floor. How can my Libra friends maintain the balance of light and dark? That the fall equinox brings. Okay, we've got a lot of jumpers. The first jumper we had is the Page of Swords. Pages are those childlike, innocent, inquisitical energy, where swords are about truth and knowledge. All right, we had a couple that hit the floor here. The next one is the Four of Pentacles. Four is a stability number, it's a foundational number, whereas pentacles are about growth and abundance. Then we had the five of cups. Fives are a conflictual number, they're about struggle and loss. Cups are about the intuition and emotions. And then we have yet more. You guys had a lot of jumpers today. The next card. It's the 17th card in the Major Arcana, and that's the star. And it talks about the hopes and dreams that you have. The next card we had, the Queen of Swords. Queens are that nurturing feminine energy They're, who have lots of power and control. Don't get these women wrong. They know what they're doing. Swords are about truth and knowledge. Then we had the Wheel, also known as the Wheel of Fortune. It's the tenth card in the Major Arcana. We have another page, the Page of Pentacles. That same inquisitical energy, that playful energy in a pentacle, with is about growth and abundance. The next jumper was the sun. Probably the most sought out card in the whole deck. It's the 19th card in the Major Arcana and it speaks about love and happiness. We have a third page. This one is the cups, that intuition piece, that emotion and intuition. Okay. So you just have a few jumpers there my friends. Okay, Libra, let's let's get down to this. Let's look at all these cards. I wanted to lay them out there so you could see how many jumpers you had and how many important, impactful cards you've got going on here. Let's start off with these pages, okay? You have the Page of Cups, Swords, and Pentacles, okay? You're looking at growth and abundance, knowledge, and intuition here. Pages are the 11th card in the Major Arcana. Now, when you're looking at multiple elevens like this, you're looking at a master number. You need to listen deeply to your intuition. This is going to be a key point in your reading. We don't have a lot of intuitional cards, however we did have the, all these elevens that are really bringing forth that importance of the intuition piece. So we start off with the Page of Swords. That was the first card that, we, um, that jumped out. Pages are that desire to learn. This is all about truth and knowledge. So 
the key point here is all about knowledge base. We're going to do a little bit of shift from knowledge and go more into that head heart piece. These three pages are telling us very clearly that we need to shift from the education or knowledge base to our intuition. What's going to help us is that we've got the Four of Pentacles. We have already created a stable foundation for ourselves and that's going to give us a good basis to jump off and work on in our intuition. Okay? The reason we want to work on our intuition and want to work and connect in with our intuition is the star. The star is going to be that kind of driving force for us. The star talks about those hopes and dreams, how we're going to be able to create and manifest our hopes and dreams. The star is also a balancing card. The star is connected in with the earth and she's also connected into her intuition. That balance is a key piece. The fall equinox is a day that is a balancing day. So those balance pieces will help you move forward, will help you achieve the star. The five of cups is going to challenge you. Like I said, fives are a conflictual number. They are about water and intuition here. However, you're looking at the wrong piece, if you will. We're focusing in on knowledge and we're focusing in on what we should think we should have. That's a big piece. It's a hard shift. When we start to focus in on what we think we should have, then we miss out on what we really do have. And that's what the Queen of Swords wants us to really work on. She's not about what we want, what we think, or what we feel. She's about that hard and fast. This is what we have right now. We're going to take this knowledge and we're going to add it to the, what the um, page knows because the Queen of Swords has learned all her knowledge through some really hard knocks in life. She learned it through the hard way. She's going to share that with the page so that they can go straight up to the sword. She is warmed and really propelled by the sun here. The sun really brings a light and a shine to this reading because it is all about the joy and the happiness. And that's a piece that's really going to be important for you as you go along, Libra. The pages here are about that inquisical knowledge piece that that need to really explore the world through the, their suits however it's about play it's about that happiness and joy yes you want to take your knowledge and yes you want to hone your skills into your intuition focusing on what you do have focusing in on that foundation to help really propel you forward if you think of it it's it's like a, um, a bit of an arrow here these pages will help you playing in your intuition, playing with your knowledge, playing with your um, groundedness and growth. It's the one time where you really want to connect in with that play and fun piece because it, as an adult we forget that. We forget how much fun we had playing in the mud, playing in the leaves, playing in just getting our hands dirty. Because when we want to create something we can't always do it from a distance. We kind of have to get involved in this. The Wheel of Fortune here, or the wheel, talks about that change and how this is a shift for you. The wheel and the star are connected. This talks about how the seasons change and we're coming up into a big season change, but it also talks about how our life cycles change and how things in our lives will keep flowing just like the the wheel of the year. So it's embracing the change. Now this this whole piece really launches on Monday, right? Or, or whenever you accept that. You can really um, embrace the balancing and change energy that the fall equinox brings us. But this is going to be a process. It's going to go into winter and it's going to come out and a lot of things that the fall equinox is bringing on will really be seen at a height during the spring equinox. Giving you some time during a, a season where a lot of us like to recluse ourselves. Giving us the time to be able to focus in on ourselves and our intuition. Also, the, another key piece that you need to remember, giving yourself permission. It's all great and good to say, oh yeah, no, I'm gonna do this. 
it's going to be focusing these pages and the queen can help do that. Let's look at what your shadow self wants to add. That's the Ace of Wands. Aces are a gift. Wands are about that creativity and passion. We don't really have any wands on this um, reading so far. This adds your passion and your creativity into this because you need it to go forward. Your star is really connected into your passions and, and your creativity. It's a creative card. So connecting in your passions so that you can go forward. It's time to redirect your misguided feelings and thoughts so that you can go forward. If you stayed in the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups, what's going to happen is you start to squirrel. What you think you should have had, what you want. You've got all this knowledge, but you're not using it because you're focusing on what you think you should have. It's now focusing in on the play, focusing on some fun, focusing on that passion piece. Bring the passion into these three, and you'll start to see that shift happening. And these shifts happen even though we don't know they're happening. When we focus our energy on something else, we are automatically releasing things. And that will help bring you forward. All right, my Libra friends, let's look at the blessing. What blessing does the fall equinox have for my Libra friends? Okay, got a jumper. And that's air, imagination. Like I said, connecting in to your intuition, that imagination, the play, the fun. Connect that into your wands and you're really going to propel yourself forward. You will meet the star head on and you will enjoy meeting the star head on. It will be a lot of fun. For those who wish, you can pause the video here and reflect on these cards. This is a group reading, however I drew these cards especially for my Libra friends. What further information did the cards hold for you? Like I said, this is a group reading. If you're looking for something more personal or specific, you can follow the link below and schedule a private reading with myself. That said, I hope you enjoyed this video and you found it fun and helpful, and you were able to gain more insight into what you should be releasing this fall equinox. I want to thank you so much for spending time with me today and watching this video. I will continue to create fun and insightful videos for my Zodiac friends. If you have any suggestions or comments, please feel free to leave them below. I'm always up for feedback from my friends. If you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest content. You never know where I'm going to go next and I'd hate for you to miss a video. Also, if you enjoyed this video and want to support me in making more, I have a Patreon page with many tiers and lots of perks. In some of my tiers, the perks are private readings with myself. I've provided a helpful link below, so why not go check it out? Until tomorrow, my Libra friends.